What is one of the very first things that most people do when they strike it rich? They purchase that big house on the hill, plenty of space, a huge kitchen, spacious bedrooms, four-car garage, you name it, living the life of luxury and doing it in a very big way. Well, what would be the feline version of hitting the jackpot? What type of sleep space would they select? With the world at the very tips of their claws, most cats would probably select a nice cardboard box with four solid walls. A cozy spot, away from the world yet safe enough to nap in peace. Here at Senior Cat Wellness, we've spent a lot of time talking about feline hiding spots and napping spots. Why many cats just don't want that expensive cat tree. They just want the box that it came in. And when it comes to the topic of sleep, a lot of cats, if they had a choice would select a dark space to get those seemingly endless hours of Z's. In order to fully understand a cat's thought process, when it comes to the dark and small sleep locations, it's vital to understand that most of it is instinctual. And the reason some cats would rather choose a box seemingly tucked away in the corner is due to generations building up what I like to call the feline foundation. Seeking shelter and safe in small places to give birth, hiding away deep in the woods from dangerous predators. Because, for as interesting as cats are, what they need most in life is as basic as it gets. It's all about security and comfort, shelter and peace. And, if your cat enjoys sleeping in small dark places, it probably just means they're living out their calling, acting on instincts as a means to take hold of what they cherish the most. The life of the family cat, even an indoor cat, is rather hectic. So many things going on, so many stresses, so many different reasons to be anxious. After all, for as intelligent as cats are, the humans run the place. And there is still so very much that cats simply do not understand. This fact alone can cause a lot of tension, and when nap time comes, and especially when the day is over, that dark little nesting spot is a place of refuge after a very busy and stressful day. I think I've told this story at least, at least once before, but many years ago, one of my cats, when I wasn't paying attention, well, he decided to take a nap inside of an empty chicken box. If you live in the United States, you probably know what I mean. Those cardboard boxes with the handles. <laughs> Fast food style fried chicken. Yeah, one of those boxes. Well, who knew, right? Who knew that it could double as a dark and cozy sleep spot for my cat? I should have called him and told him. <laughs> hey, your boxes... These boxes serve more purpose than just to hold that fried chicken. My cat's currently asleep in one of them. And here's the thing. He's got a bed, right? A nice cat bed. A real cat bed, but nope. He had cardboard on the brain, so a chicken box was his choice. Like I said when this video began, a cat's true mansion on the hill probably cost about 15 bucks, if that. So, here's my question to the great audience of Senior Cat Wellness. Dark sleep locations. Does your cat have a favorite spot? Perhaps multiple little snooze hideouts. And where is the craziest place that you've ever found your cat just sound asleep? A shoe box? A chicken box? Please let me know right there in the comment section below. And before I head on out, I'd like to make it clear that not every cat will entertain the dark side. Some cats are more than happy to sleep on the sofa right there in front of everyone. Because while those small and dark hideouts are tempting, if the trust level is high, and the bond with you is very strong, there's no real reason to hide away. And it could also be a personality thing. Because, overall, while instincts are very much at work, that's not the only thing at play here. Additionally, and this is especially true if you are a new owner, do not be discouraged if your cat just wanders off a bit to sleep in the far corner of your home. Far away from you. Out of those high traffic zones. Because, unless your cat has fallen ill, the act of wanting a bit of isolation is fairly normal, especially for a new cat in a new home with a new or first-time owner. 
Most cats, if they can find it, will carve out their very own little comfort zone, somewhat of a home base within the home. And many times, that winds up being a dark and secure space. And with all of that said, I do thank you so very much for taking some time out of your busy day to join us right here at Senior Cat Wellness. Did you like what you heard today? If you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, you know how it goes. We'll talk to you later.